Hi, I'm Ken Rosenthal, and I'm a park naturalist here at Golf Branch Nature Center. This is another five minute find, and today I found something in our garden called mutualism. Mutualism is a type of symbiosis, um, and a symbiotic relationship is a relationship between two different species. Um, and sometimes they benefit, sometimes one benefits to the detriment of the other, uh, and there's a whole range of, of, of different types of interactions between the two. Uh, mutualism is when both species benefit from the interaction. Um, and I found a really neat one here in one of the plants in the garden, and I'm going to show you that right now. So no, we're not actually looking at this stink bug nymph, but we want to actually look what's behind the stink bug nymph on the branch back here. And what you'll see is ants and aphids. What I wanted to discover was going on right here with this plant. These small yellow creatures are aphids. And these aphids have bitten into this plant. They're sucking out um, juices from the plant and this is what they live on. As the uh, juice gets digested by the aphids, uh, it travels through their alimentary canal, essentially the passageway from their mouth to their anus. And what they excrete is a sweet substance called honeydew. And this honeydew is what the ants are very interested in. Honeydew is very sweet and it's very good tasting to ants. And ants will actually cultivate this from aphids. There are some species that not only do they farm the aphids and tend the aphids, they take the aphids into their nest colony at night uh, and then bring them back out to the plant in the morning to feed. So it's a very uh, significant um, relationship for the two creatures. There are several different spots along this plant where there are little aphid colonies and ants attending to them. Um, uh, as again, as I mentioned, there are species that really, really take care of these aphids. And some species of ants, um, when a queen goes off to found a new colony, she will take an aphid egg with her in order to start her own colony of aphids as well. Uh, and many aphids reproduce parthenogenically. What that means is um, essentially the females produce clones of themselves, so they don't need males. So it's simple for the uh, queen ant to take one egg and that's all she needs. The ants also provide protection for the aphids. Uh, critters like uh, ladybugs love to eat aphids. The ants will very vigorously defend the aphids from these ladybugs, fighting off the ladybugs and, and making them leave the plant because that is, this is the food that they're interested in at the time. So again, this is a, a mutualistic relationship. You've got the aphids who get to feed without worry for predators. Uh, you get the ants who um, get the essentially byproducts of the, the aphids digestion of the plant material. Um, and this mutualism benefits both species. milkweed in our rain garden and you can see here that we do have a different kind of aphid growing on the swamp milkweed. These are oleander aphids here and they are not currently being tended by ants. They are occasionally tended by ants but it is not something that is required for their survival. I hope you enjoyed today's five minute find. This is Ken from Gulf Branch saying thanks for joining us and we hope to see you either at an in-person program or next week for another five minute find. And the ants and aphids say goodbye also.